Hello, Internet, and welcome to Lake Street News. We're back with another episode with stories about the mayoral race, climate laws, homeless shelters, and a recent arrest. Did we run out of good stories or something? Yeah, a little bit. Well, I'm Will. And I'm Maggie. Hope you enjoy. Ithaca may have an uncontested mayoral race this year, with Robert Kintelmo being the only candidate so far. April 6 is a deadline to gather the necessary signatures to appear on the ballot, and nobody has done so thus far. Contelmo told the Ithaca Voice that being the sole candidate in the Democratic primary, quote, doesn't make much of a difference to the way that I'm approaching this campaign, end quote. A little cocky to me, but okay. If anybody watching this wants to run against him, get the petition in fast. I'm sure that many will want to vote against the youth pastor-looking candidate. Rocco Lazertosa, New York's top oil heat lobbyist, said that we are, quote, facing an existential threat the likes of which have never, we have never seen, end quote. Talking about New York's climate law. Governor Kathy Hochul has proposed requiring new construction to be free of fossil fuels starting at the end of 2025 and banning sales of new fossil heating appliances like boilers and furnaces in the 2030s. By 2050, it is thought that oil and gas heating systems would be a thing of the past throughout New York. This could result in the extinction of most of New York's fossil fuel industry, which will come as a major loss to people like me who hate the planet and want to see our Earth be leveled and turned into an oil-fueled concrete consumerist utopia. Second Wind Cottages is a non-profit homeless aid organization out in Newfield. It currently houses 18 formerly homeless people, and there were plans to add 18 more additional campsites. These plans have been postponed, though, due to opposition from Newfield residents like legislator Randy Brown, saying, quote, 90 plus percent of the people are against the expansion in the campsites, so I will be against it, end quote. In an attempt to stop the expansion, a two-year-long moratorium was passed by the Newfield Town Board, which prevents further campsites from being built. Democracy at its best. An Ithacan man has been charged in a connection to a shooting in February. 31-year-old Robert Brewer was arrested, as he was known to be a shooter in the Cayuga Gardens apartments, and he was charged with first-degree burglary, second-degree criminal possession of a weapon, and second-degree assault. He is currently in Tompkins County Jail on a $100,000 bail. <laughs> oh, we're over? Uh, oh, thanks for watching Lake Street News, everybody. We'll get a better out episode out next week, hopefully. See you all then. Peas. And carrots. Hubbub, hubbub. Hubbub. Peas, carrots, carrots. peas, carrots. Hubbub. <laughs> hubbub. Hubbub. Words. <laughs> <laughs>